In this video, we aren't going to do any actual calculus, but we are going to do a problem in a way that alludes to limits, which is a concept in calculus, so it'll get you thinking in, thinking in the right kind of mindset. So, let's say we have, we'll say given y equals 1 over x. So we have this graph. Let's graph it in orange. That's a bad graph. So we have this graph y equals 1 over x. And we will... Uh, We'll say a point on this line is x equals 0.5. Well, we can plug that into the equation. So plug that into equation and get We can get the point, let's see, 0.52. So we have this point here, which is 0.5 comma 2. And we'll put this in yellow. We'll say want to find tangent line. We'll say the tangent line. through this point, which is 0.52. And the tangent line is this line right here that only touches the line right here and does not touch it at the points directly above or below that. So tangent, tangent, lines intersect at only one local point. So the points right next to this point will not be intersected. I probably didn't draw the best tangent line there, but I do think you know what I mean. So we'll move on. And the method we use for this isn't going to be the best method but it's going to be one to help us learn more about limits. So we'll say method. We want to pick an x that is close to 0.5 and then we want to find the slope through that point and our given point. And that given point is 0.5 comma 2. So let's start out. We'll say, what color do we want to do this? And we'll do this in white. First thing we'll say try x equals 0.4. Well, plugging this in, and we won't write all this out. I think I'm writing out too much. So, plugging that in to our equation, we get let's see y equals 1 divided by 0.4, which gives us the point or er, 0.4 comma 2.5. That's the place we get in the coordinates. And let's graph this out. Let's see. We have the point, point 0.5, 2. And then just below that we have point 0.4, 2.5. And we have this lo line going through them right here. Let's make this an orange easier to see. 
So we have this line going through them. We can say the slope of this line, the one in orange, is m equals delta y over delta x. Delta is a Greek letter. It's just drawn as a triangle, and it means the change in something. So the change in y divided by the change in x. Just going to try to get used to that notation. We're not multiplying y or x by any kind of constant here. Uh, mathematically, this is 2.5 minus 2 divided by 0.4 minus 0.5, which equals a negative 5. So let's scroll down a little bit. So we have... Uh, Let's draw this, let's put this in a different form. So the equation of the line that we have is y minus y naught. Some of you may be used to y1 there, but I normally use naught. And that is equal to m times x minus x naught, or x1, depending on what you're used to. So we have y minus 2 equals negative 5 times x minus 0.5 or in point-slope form, which is why I do most things in. y equals negative 5x plus 9.5. Let's move on. Let's say we want to try a different number. We'll say try x equals 0.6. So if we plug in 0.6 to our equation, the one where it was uh, y equals 1 over x, we get the point 0.6 comma 1.6 with that repeating. And then we have our given point, which is 0.5 comma 2. And we can once again draw this, well, draw this line between those. Here we, and if we do the math, we get that m equals negative 10 thirds, or alternatively negative 3 point repeating 3. So we can just keep trying numbers closer and closer to 0.5, and we can make a table. So make a table of these calculations. Actually, let's move... Whoa, that's not where I want to move. Uh, we'll just do it here. I can't find a better place to do it. So make a table of these calculations. We can have x... Let's try some x's close by. We'll have 0.49 which an x of 0.49 would give us a y of 2.04082. I already have this table written out. If we did a x of 0.51, we would get er, 1.960.78. If we went even closer and did 0.499, we would get a y of... 2.00401 and if we did 0 0.501 so also going slightly over we would get 1.99600 and then if we calculated the slope as we did before at these points we would get these numbers that are following negative 4.081633 negative 3.92157, negative 4.00802, and negative 3.99202. And then notice something. Notice, the closer we get to actually having 0.5, we get very close to having a slope of negative 4. Notice, so the 
true slope. We'll put true in quotes there because we didn't do this problem the right way. But we we have a pretty good idea. It appears to be m equals negative 4. So our tangent line is y minus 2 equals negative 4 times x minus 0.5 or alternatively we can change that to point slow form and get y equals negative 4x plus 4.